So the Carve 2 is a brand new tactical rifle which has just released as a free DLC weapon in Season 3 and you can unlock it for free with a weapon challenge in multiplayer or zombies and today I'll show you guys how to complete this challenge to unlock it as easily and as quickly as possible in the game. So I'm going to quickly explain the challenge, give the best class setup and game modes for this and then some quick tips to help you get the challenge done even faster. So make sure you stick around obviously until the end of the video so you don't miss out on any important tips. Although I will have timestamps in the description if you want to jump to a specific part of the video whether you want to do the challenge for like like multiplayer or zombies feel free to skip to whatever part you guys need now once you unlock this weapon you may want to level it up or make a solid class with the new gun or even unlock gold or diamond camo on this weapon and if that is the case i'll have camo guides for this weapon i'll have a guide on how to level up weapons really fast and a best class setup for this gun so check all of those out if you're interested there'll be cards for those on screen and a link in the description as soon as those videos are available so make sure you check them out if you need help with anything to do with this gun very quickly i'm also doing a cod points giveaway for the season three battle pass if you're interested in that there'll be rules for that in the description give that a read if you're interested but without further ado let's get into the video so this challenge can be done in multiplayer or zombies and for multiplayer the challenge reads using tactical rifles rapidly kill two or more players in 10 different completed matches now obviously rapid kills are when you kill two or more enemies within a short amount of time it's normally about three to five seconds between the first kill and the second kill which will count as a rapid kill you'll know when it counts because you'll see a double kill or a triple kill or any other kind of rapid kill medal pop up on screen. So that means that you know you got the challenge done for that game and your progress is done for that game and you just have to focus on the next matches. If you guys struggle with rapid kills, I can get a guide for that soon for anyone that needs more help though. Now in terms of zombies, the challenge says that using tactical rifles, you need to get 250 long shot kills. Now in this game for tactical rifles, a long shot is where you get a kill at 41 meters or more away from the enemy. Now a quick note is that for the challenges, but particularly multiplayer, this needs to be 10 completed matches. So if you leave the game early, the progress will seem to count initially, but if you come off the game and then come back on it, the progress will have reset. So you must actually stay in the match until it finishes. Don't quit and leave early, otherwise it won't count and you won't be saving yourself any time. And you can check if your kills counted in multiplayer or zombies by checking the challenge progress bar in game. So if you go to the menu, click on edit next to your class, hover over the carve two, which is at the bottom of the list in the tactical rifles tab, and then check this before the match know what you're on and then obviously in the match you can check it to see what you're up to so what we're going to do is first focus on the multiplayer strategy and then we'll go on to zombies but obviously like i say you can skip ahead if you want to there's cards in the description so for multiplayer you particularly want to be playing hardcore modes if you can because these are best because the enemies will die much faster so try and go into hardcore modes if you can in particular ones like newtown face off or diesel 24 7 as part of the yamantau and diesel playlist that's just gone live out of those, Hardcore Face-Off is probably the best as the matches are less than five minutes, they're small maps, smaller teams, and it's easier to get the kills, etc. But if you struggle to get the challenge done before the game ends, then obviously you want to be choosing the longer game modes like Hardcore Nuketown or Hardcore Yamantau and Diesel 24-7 instead. In terms of the class setup, for the primary you want to put on a tactical rifle, I put on the M16, but you can put on whatever you guys want. Now the attachments will obviously depend on what tactical rifle in particular you're using. When I was using the M16, these are some example attachments that I recommend you guys use. So first of all, we've got the Millstop Reflex as an optic. Then we've got the 16.3 inch titanium barrel, which increases your fire rate. We've got the SAS Mag Clamp, which increases your reload speed and max starting ammo. We've then got the Airborne Elastic Wrap to reduce your aim down sight time. And finally, we've got the Raider Pad, which reduces your sprint to fire time and increases your aim walking movement speed. So for the perks, I'd put on a Perk Greed Wildcard, and then in Perk 1, I'd put on Flak Jacket, so you can take less damage from enemy explosives, Molotov, and Combat Bow Flames. We've also gone for Tactical Mask, which gives you max resistance to Flashbang and Stun Grenade, and you're immune to the gas as well. For the second perk, we've gone for Scavenger, to replenish ammo from fallen players, so you get more ammo, and then Tracker, so you can see an imprint of enemy footsteps, just to kind of follow where they are on the map to try and find them and get more kills. And then in Perk 3, we've gone for Ghost, so you're undetectable by enemy spy planes when you're moving, planting, or diffusing bombs, or controlling score streaks and ninja so that you move more quietly and your character only speaks when necessary so enemies are less likely to hear you and find you and kill you and you're more likely to survive in terms of the equipment for the tactical you want to put on a stim shot so that if you take a lot of damage in a gunfight you can quickly heal although this isn't crucial and then the field upgrade you want to put on something like a field mic just so you can find more enemies my main tips for getting this challenge in a multiplayer are first of all to reload when you're not near enemies so you're less likely to need to reload during a gunfight because obviously that will slow you down you're more likely to die and you're less likely to get the kills you want to also aim down sight before coming out of cover or going around a corner and you want to expect an enemy to be there as soon as you come out of cover or go around a corner as you're more likely to kill them this way you also want to push towards enemy spawns or high flow areas of the map and you want to hold down that area to look 
block for enemies so for example the garden spawn area of nuketown is great for getting rapid kills it can also be good to hang around objective areas because this is another high flow point so for example domination flags if you're playing domination and you want to wait for several enemies to show up to take a flag back and then obviously just kill them quickly and because it's hardcore you can kill them really quickly which is great now when you're killing enemies you should have a few seconds between the kills like i say three to five seconds probably but you want to get them as fast as possible so that you reduce the chance of either the other enemy dying or you dying so you don't get the rapid kills so get them as soon as possible so that you're guaranteed to have them but you only need to kill two enemies in short succession to basically get one double kill medal and that's all you need for this challenge so that's everything for multiplayer what about the zombies then well first of all for the class you want to put on a tactical rifle again such as the m16 and because this challenge is to get long shots these are some example attachments you could go for so i've put on the axial arms 3x optic i've then put on the infantry compensator because that increases your vertical recoil control we've then put on the 20.5 inch task force barrel which increases your damage your effective damage range and your bullet velocity i've then gone for the field agent foregrip which increases your vertical recoil control again and then finally the salvo 54 round fast mags which increases your ammo and reload speed the field upgrade isn't essential but if you're going to use one use the ring of fire field upgrade because when you're standing within the ring of fire it boosts your damage so it's easier to kill enemies at those further ranges the best kind of map and mode to get this challenge done in zombies is outbreak because it's a big map and the enemies freely roam around the map so my main tips are things like to make sure that you pack a punch your weapon as soon as possible so you can do more damage and kill the enemies more easily. Pick up as much salvage as possible, including by opening chests and breaking ether crystals around the map to upgrade your weapon at the weapon and armor stations to increase your weapon damage. You also want to pick up the deadshot daiquiri perk, which allows you to auto aim onto zombie heads so that you can do more damage and kill them more quickly, especially at those longer ranges. And similarly, you can pick up insta kill power ups to kill the enemies more easily, but you want to avoid picking up nuke power ups, obviously, because that will just kill all the zombies in the area which you don't want make sure you guys are using the mini map to scout out enemies and make sure you use the ping system to check the zombies are at a long shot distance before you shoot them you'll get an idea of how far away you need to be but like i say it's about 41 or more meters for a long shot so use the ping system so press left on the d-pad that will tell you how far away you are from the zombies and obviously if you're too close then you need to move back until you're far enough away to get the long shot and it will tell you once you've killed them that you've got a long shot kill if it counted once you've cleared out the enemies in one part of the map you want to move to another part either by foot or in a vehicle and keep your distance before getting the kills so don't run right up to them and get the kills because that won't count and keep your distance before getting kills now sometimes you'll find that zombies only appear or spawn in once you actually get close to them even though they'll appear as red dots on the map so if that's the case move in to trigger their spawn and then step back again until you're at a long shot distance to get those kills and then basically you want to repeat that process go around the whole map and do it and you should be able to complete the whole challenge on round one on outbreak or if not that will get you the bulk of the kills towards the challenge and then you just have to go to the next region and do the same again but it really shouldn't take too long and therefore i think the easiest method if you're comparing multiplayer and zombies is definitely zombies because you don't have to keep waiting for the match to finish and backing out you can quickly go into outbreak you could probably get this done easily in something like 20 minutes half an hour it really won't take too long at all especially if you guys are using my outbreak strategy so i hope these tips helped if they did be sure to leave a like on the videos it really helps me out and obviously it helps other people find the video so they can use these tips too and feel free to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos and also if you guys are interested you can check out my cold war camo guides guides for unlocking other new dlc weapons my best class setup for the new carve 2 tactical rifle and how to unlock gold camo on it quickly but also how to level up weapons fast and how to level up tiers fast and so much more on my channel so if any of that is helpful or interesting then feel free to check it out and don't forget to visit the season 3 battle pass video to be entered into the giveaway there'll be rules for that in the description but cheers for watching hope you found it useful and i'll see you guys all on the next video